today we begin with the, um, so let's say that the, the first step to our research or to our analysis was to collect the data uh, and then uh, organize the data and then present the data in terms of graphical, uh, or do the graphical representation of the data. Okay, so what do I do? What do I need from that data? Okay, I not just I just don't want to just collect it and then present it. Yeah, presentation is a first step towards um, towards visualization, towards getting a sense out of that data, getting a feel of that data. However, I need some statistics as well. I need some information as well in terms of the numbers. So. That is the, the most basic, the most, uh, I should say, the, just to begin with, it, it's a big nine, that's the majors of central tendency. So what are the different majors of central tendency? There are uh, quite a few, but the most commonly used are the ones that we will discuss today, or which are shown on this slide. So the thing is that a mean, which, is, which we also call average. So and why do I, do I need an average? So that I know, okay, if, if, if I want to find out what is the average height of the people in this class who are, who are attending in this class. Now, I'm not, I don't, I, I can see, I, when you plot it, I can see it in the graph, but I just want one number. Just some information, just some statistics. So you'll say, okay, so this is the average height. That is one of the major, of, one of the majors, of the, the way we measure the data, which is the mean. So the if the earth that, and the mean is the arithmetic mean or the average. It could be geometric mean. There are there are a couple of different types of means, but the most commonly used is the uh, arithmetic mean. So for example, we have five different numbers here, uh, five data points in our set of data: eight, three, five, twelve, and ten. Then the mean is to add all these numbers and divide it by the number of data points. So we add a 8, 3, 5, 12, 10, and then divide it by the total number of data points that we, are in, we have in our sample. So the average is 7.6. Now this could be, mm, let's say it's, it's something, um, it's, 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 these are the scores or these are the, this is the scores of the of, the, of, a, of students in a class in, um, in, in certain course. So what is some, someone, just to assess the performance of the class, someone may ask, well, what is the average score? What was the average score in this class? So this, this is how we compute the average. This is how we compute the mean. This is the most common basic information that we infer, that we calculate, that we estimate from, in, uh, uh, from a database. So the um, arithmetic mean, and then comes what is the mode or what is the frequency. Why do I uh, want to know the mode or the frequency? Because that gives me a sense, okay, fine, this is an average, but you see the average could be, uh, now, now there could be a variation in the data set. It's, it's, it begins with the most, um, if, if I define the range in terms of, the minimum and then the maximum, it ranges between 3 and 12. So 7.6 does not exclusively tell me that how many students, what was the most frequently appearing score in the class. Such as other, uh, concern, concern, um, how, such as other score kya tha. Not, not such as other, but such as other students ka score kaun sa tha. That is called the frequency, that is called the mode, jo, the frequently appearing number in your data set. The number which is the most frequently So for example, this is a series of the data, this is a series of the data points that we have uh, in our data set. These are the different numbers that we collected of any phenomena happening. Um, so eight, number eight was repeated three times. 4 and then 5 and then 7 was repeated 2 times and then um, 2 was repeated 4 times. So something, um, some number that we drew, let's say we had, um, we, we in, our, in a bowl or anywhere in a box we had um, 
we, we wrote down few numbers from 1 to 10 or 1 to 8 and we put them in the in, in a box and then we randomly took out those numbers. So 8 appeared 3 times, 4 appeared 1 time, 7 appeared 2 times, 2 appeared 4 times and 5 appeared 1 time. Then the most frequently appearing number in our data set is 2. It appeared 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So I sorted this data in ascending or in descending order and then I saw that what is the most frequently appearing number in the data series which is 2. So that's for the frequency of this data or not only, sorry, it's, it's it's, it's not the, I shouldn't say frequency, but the mode. Frequency is something, you now the frequency is of 8 is 3, frequency of 4 is 1, frequency of 5 is 1, frequency of 7, number 7 is 2, frequency of number 2 is 4. So I should not say frequency using here, frequency here, it, it's not, let, I'll take it out. Let's talk about mode only. So the mode of this data set, the number, which represents the mode of this data set is 2 because 2 appears 4 times, the maximum number of times. So 2 is the mode. Then that was the, um, the, the second measure of central tendency. And then comes the median. So what is the median? Median, it's not necessarily that it's always is the um, central number because it, if we have 10 data points in our series, then the cent there are two central numbers, there are the two middle numbers. If we have nine data points, then, it, then we have just one middle number. So how do we estimate median? The way we estimate median is the median of a set of numbers arranged in an order. So what, how do we do this? First, we arrange, we arrange our data series either in ascending order or in descending order it's up to you whatever you want so here I arranged the this data series that we discussed above in ascending order so beginning at 2 and ending at 8 we have 2's and then 4 and then 5 and then 7's and then 8's so the middle one there are two numbers which are in the middle of this series so leaving 1 2 3 4 5 on our right hand side and leaving 1 2, 3, 4, 5 on our left hand side. We have two middle numbers which is 5 and 5. So the median of this data series is 5 plus 5 divided by 2 which is 5. So the median of this data series is 5. So am I clear about these measures of central tendency? Yes, it can be a single number. So let's take this 8 out. And so how many numbers do we have now? Uh, what do you mean by parametric group? Um, it's a data series. It can be parametric. It can be not par non-parametric. So it's not necessarily, we'll see. Right now we had uh, this data series or uh, median is not defining any data series to be parametric or non-parametric. It could be parametric. It could not be parametric. But all data series have, uh, from our, for all data series, we can measure these uh, central limits or the mean, mode, and median. So yes, it can be both. It can be parametric. It can be non-parametric. We can determine the median for all these. Uh, we can determine all these three numbers for parametric series and for non-parametric series as well. And it can be a single number. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So we have 11 numbers in this data series and this is the central one is the leaving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the from the left hand side and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the right hand side. The number in the series, the middle number in the series is 5. So the median of this data series is 5. Now these, these are the three simple measures. Let Let's do this. Let's do this exercise using SPSS. That how to measure these simple numbers. So let's bring in this student height data set that we used in our last class. Let's bring it in. And yes, here. 
So we have these are the number of, uh, the number that's assigned to each student, and these are the, their heights. So we go to analyze. We go to descriptive statistics. Click on descriptive, and we want to we want to measure these central tendencies for or central. We do this uh, central numbers for the for the height. So. Let's take out variance right now. We'll discuss it in our next slide. So it does not do the mean median mode. Let's maybe try this. 